Hey guys, it's Mr. Post, and on today's video, we'll be checking out two examples of ideal gas law problems. The ideal gas law is expressed by the equation PV equals nRT. And just uh, some old familiar friends here, P is going to be pressure, uh, V is going to be volume, but just note that volume needs to be expressed in liters only. All right, so it's a, if it comes in milliliters, make sure you express it, convert it into liters. N is something that we haven't dealt with yet, and that's going to be moles. That's going to be moles of gas. So if you're given grams, please convert that to moles. R is going to be the ideal um, gas law constant. Okay, and there's a couple uh, different numbers you'll use for that. We'll go over that. And T finally is going to be temperature, and that's going to be expressed in kelvins. In the first question, it's going to ask us how many moles of a gas are contained in 890 liters of a gas at 21 degrees Celsius and three atmospheres of pressure. And I think one of the, the key things when you start any one of these problems off is just to start off by doing the variables, okay? If you know the equation is PV equals nRT, let's just do that on the side here, okay? Let's do a P, V, N, R, T. And uh, you're going to have to excuse my pen tonight. My pen is uh, moving around. As you can see, it's vibrating a little bit. And my phone's going off, too. Um, Anyway, let's start off by listing what the variables here are, okay? P is, set, is for pressure, and the pressure, we're going to grab from this right here, the pressure is expressed as three atmospheres of pressure. The volume is going to be 890 liters, and that's cool because it needs to be in liters. N is, stands for moles, and right now we do not know how many moles of gas we have. R is the um, ideal gas constant, okay? Now, here's the thing. Anytime you have an ideal gas constant, I'm going to give you three ideal ca gas constants. We, con we commonly use in this class here, and they're going to be 8.31, and that value will be used if you happen to see kilopascals. You're going to see 0 0.0821, and that's kind of if we happen to see ATM as a pressure, and also 62.4 mmH. G, okay, and that's if we see MMHG as our um, as our pressure. So in this problem here, we see the unit uh, is atmospheres and pressure. So we're going to use the ideal gas constant that is 0 0.0821, okay, 0 0.0821. I know it kind of blurted out there, but that's the ideal gas constant. We're going to write that over here. And just we're going to start off as a, a good foundation by listing our givens over here. Temperature is going to be 21 degrees Celsius. And you want to add 273 to bring that up to 294 Kelvin. All right, so we're going to be expressing it in Kelvin. That's 294 Kelvin. And one of the keys that I always try to encourage students to do is start the problem off just by listing the givens. Get the givens in order. Once you got the givens down, most likely your problem is going to be fine. Okay, so let's start by now writing the equation out. The equation for the ideal gas law is PV equals nRT. And this time, we're kind of solving for moles, which is N. So what I'd recommend is actually rearranging the problem. Okay, If we rearrange the problem, we'll find ourselves at PV over RT equals N. So I'm just going to use some algebra to rearrange the problem. Once you're at this point, though, it's a good idea. You're there. Let's start um, putting things into the equation here. So pressure is going to be three atmospheres. Subbing in for volume, volume is 890 liters. And let's divide that by R and T. R is 0.0821 because we're using atmospheres of pressure. And lastly, temperature is going to be 294 kelvins. And that's going to give us a certain number of moles of gas. Which brings us to roughly, once calculated, roughly 111 moles of a gas. Okay, that was nothing more than 3 times 890 divided by 0 0.0821 and also divided by 294. Alright, so once again, I think the keys in this uh, equation here, in this, uh, in this problem, is going to be first things, get those givens down. Get all of them down. Okay, a little stumbling block. Make sure your liters are um, your volumes in liters. Make sure your ideal gas constant is the appropriate one for the pressure that you're using. And lastly, make sure you convert to Kelvin. Once you got the givens down, throw out the ideal gas law, rearrange it to solve what you're looking for. Then you go plug and chug. Let's go on to the next problem, guys. Let's do the last problem that we're doing today.
All right, dudes, in this problem, we have 1.09 grams of hydrogen is contained in a 2-liter container. That is at 20 degrees Celsius. What is the pressure? So that's what we're looking for. What is the pressure in the container in millimeters of mercury? And you're going to have to forgive me. MMHG really goes together. That is a unit of measurement. There's really not a space in between them. So millimeters of mercury is a unit of measurement of pressure. Now let's start the problem off. Let's go by starting off with P, V, N, R, and T. The pressure is going to be what we're looking for. What is the pressure? And we're going to find that in question mark MMHG. The volume is 2.00 liters. The number of moles, okay? The number of moles is interesting. We're given here grams, and grams is not the unit moles. So right off the bat, I don't want you just to stop. I want you to write down 1.09 grams of H2, but not stop there. I want you to go right ahead and do a quick calculation times one mole of H2 over 2.0 grams. Okay, let's calculate that, guys, and it's going to come out to be 0 0.545 moles of H2. And once again, you're going to have to forgive my pen tonight. It's actually, as you see, the little cursor there is vibrating and shaking all around, so something's going on with it. All right, so we've taken care of our moles now. We've taken care of our volume. We understand we're looking for millimeters of mercury and pressure. And if that's the case, then our R value is going to be 62.4. Okay? 62.4 is the ideal gas law constant when the pressure is expressed in millimeters of mercury. The temperature was going to be 20 degrees Celsius. But right away, just keep going. Plus 273 is going to give me 293 as my Kelvin temperature. So we've got our givens down there. We know we're looking for pressure. And let's start off by writing our equation here. PV equals nRT. And let's just rearrange to find the pressure. Therefore, pressure is going to equal nRT divided by volume. At this point, it just becomes a plug-in chug. And let's start the problem right over here. And pressure equals, let's use our 0.545. For our moles, R was going to be 62.4, and the temperature was going to be 293 kelvins. And we're going to divide that by a volume of 2. All right, guys, we're going to solve the problem here. 0.545 times 62.4 times 293 divided by 2 is going to give us a pressure in this gas of... Roughly 4,982 millimeters of mercury of pressure. All right, so that's kind of what we're looking for here. So the really the question is, given all these variables, 20 degrees Celsius, we have a 2 liter container, 1.09 grams of H2, which is really 0.545 moles. What is the pressure inside of that container? And the pressure ends up being 4,982 millimeters of mercury pressure. All right, guys, that wraps up our two examples for tonight for the ideal gas law. I do hope it was helpful. Tune back again sometime. Catch you guys later.